So guys, in this video, I'm going to unbox and uh, explain a little bit about the DDS-140. Um, this is the bigger brother of the DDS-120 that uh, I had recently gotten not too long ago because I wanted to learn more about oscilloscopes and the uh, easiest way to do that is uh, a USB oscilloscope. Something cool and easy to uh, mess with plus the interface uh, of the uh, CN Smart oscilloscopes are absolutely awesome. I, I, I just love it. It's so simple to use. And in one of my previous videos, I did, um, I showed you the uh, analog oscilloscope that I got here from uh, eBay, Tektronix, the uh, 2215A. That's going to need some love and repair because I want to learn more about analog oscilloscopes as well. Um, you know, of course, you know the analog oscilloscopes are analog, duh, right? But uh, digital oscilloscopes are uh, basically, you know, storage. You have the ability to record and storage, uh, store your data and everything digitally. And, uh, you know, once I started getting familiar with oscilloscopes, I want to learn about logic analyzers and uh, signal generators and all that good stuff just to round everything out. And uh, I went back on Amazon and realized that there's a DDS-140. So, I didn't realize it, but I ended up getting a DDS-120, which is just the oscilloscope function. But enough of that jib-jab. Let's go ahead and open up this box and see what's inside of it. Um, I don't imagine it's going to look, you know, any different than uh, this one here. Uh, aside from its, you know, beefier features. Whatever that means, I don't know. Oh, you're not you're not just smart, you're sand smart. <laughs> okay, alright. Oh no, okay. <laughs> um, it's massive. It's huge. Qualifs T certified thing. That's pretty cool. What am I doing? All right, the weird foam block thing. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's definitely bigger. It's not the same. Oh, wow, it's tight. Knife? Something? Break it. Wow, look at that. It's cool. It definitely looks different, that's for sure. Obviously. Oh, what is this? Okay, that makes sense because I'm about to show you something else. A signal generator. Logic analyzer. So, I'm guessing these just plug in. They're keyed, so you can only put them in one way. They're keyed, so you can only put them in one way. Cool, man. That's really, really nifty. I like that. This one's a signal generator. And it just plugs in, like that. And, of course, it's got your uh, two uh, probe connectors there. And, um your thing. This connector is for the uh, signal generator, I'm guessing, and this connector is your logic analyzer. I think this is 8 channel logic analyzer, um, which I kind of know a little bit about, but uh, if you ever have to use a logic analyzer, that's for some like really, really crazy debugging stuff, but uh, for the most part, it's kind of like the um, oscilloscope, but it gives you eight channels I guess the accessories I'm gonna be mad if this contains another CD why, why can't you just put like a, a micro SD card or something it's a freaking CD man it's the same CD that came in a DDS-120. What am I going to do with that? 
USB cable. That's cool. You can never have enough of these. Um, okay. What? What? What is this? I'm confused. Okay, it's got the regular USB on one end. It's got that kind of USB. And it also wires off to that. Is that used for something? No. I don't know. I'm confused. I'm confunkled about that. So basically the, you know, this takes the traditional oscilloscope, you know, the big clunky um, room taking oscilloscopes and it basically just puts it into a little USB module. It gives you the same features, um, but, uh, you know, of course it's going to be limited in some way, obviously, uh, like voltages, like my Textronics can uh, handle up to 400 volts per channel. Um, Alright, let's check. USB Modular Oscilloscope Series. Awesome. What's in the bag? More probes. More probes. Oy. Wait a minute. My other, my DDS120 didn't come with these. Because you can change the colors of the, um, the probes. I don't know why you'd want to do that. And it didn't come with, um, the little, uh, tool to adjust the, um, the thing. Alright, well, that's a thing. I got gypped on the last package. I wish I would have known that. Or I would have raised hell about it. Poop. Alright, where's that CD? Alright. Let's uh, hook this thing up and see what we can get. Um, by the way, uh, if your computer does not have a CD drive, my main computer does not. Um, I did not want a CD drive in it. Uh, there's no need, and being 2017, you really shouldn't need um, a, a CDs anyways. Um, a lot of the stuff, like my mini CNC machine, uh, my 3D printer, and my laser graver, you know, because I'm pointing to those things, because I obviously know where that, right? Uh, they all came with USB drives, with all the information on it, so uh, I don't understand why we why we keep using CDs in certain um, things. But anyways, what was I saying? Um, you can transfer the information off of the CD drive disk and copy it over to a USB drive if you have to and I even did it right here um, from the last CD uh, I just copied all the information and one thing you notice it's got DDS120 and DDS140 so the CD actually contains um, both oscilloscopes in it uh, so this is the information from the CD from the DS, DDS120 and this is the CD that came with the DDS 140. Let's open it up. Here we go. Alright, this is the interface for the. It's pretty much the same thing as the DDS 120. But uh, you're going to notice it's going to have mm -hmm. oscilloscope, oscilloscope plus signal generator, and it's got logic analyzer, which is really, really neat. These probes are actually identical uh, to the DDS120. They're the same model and everything. So let's, uh, you know, it's got times 1 and times 10. hook this up to the output. This is the um, 1000 megahertz or 1 kilohertz uh, s sine wave for being able to uh, use the conversation trimmer on our probes here. 
to go ahead and dial them in. So let's press start. Alright, we've got something going on. Let's see if we can't adjust our uh, voltages. There we go. So, now we can use our uh, trimmers here. And basically, now we can basically kind of square this off. There we go. Something like that. And you can see you've got your time base here. And your voltage. And we also have auto measurement as well, so it auto measures everything. You can see your uh, max voltage, your minimum voltage, peak-to-peak, uh, -peak frequency range, and you can see it's 0.992 average voltage uh, and all kinds of good stuff. And see that's what I was talking about. It's so easy to use. So simple. Let's connect our other probe. Okay, and you can see both channels are right over top of each other, but you can easily move channels, channel 1 and 2, into different positions as well. And you can also cut each channel on and off. That's if you didn't want to see it. Our probes are in a times 10 position. So you don't goof up like I did on the other one, and I forgot to change it to actually... You actually have to physically change it to uh, whatever your uh, division is. And then we can do the same thing we did to the uh, other one. Try to get it a little squared off, a little bit more. Cool. Alright, now that we've got our probes nice and um, adjusted and compensated for, Let's go ahead and plug it into something else. Like my power supply. Now I'm still using channel 2. We just attach it like that. Alright, guys, now that we've got our oscilloscope plugged into our power supply, and I'm using channel 2, by the way, if we put our voltage to half a volt per division that means by the time I get to this area right here that means it should be at 5 volts and this area should be 10 volts and that should be 15 volts increase increase 5 volts and that's right on the money that's right on 5 volts so if you go to 10 volts go up more that's 15 volts and I still don't know what the highest voltage rating is on this <laughs> this is the worst review ever I'm pretty sure all right let's back it down then oh actually let's go back let's go let's go 10 volts let's go 10 volts right quick and I just wanted to see right here max min yeah that's right on the money right on the money 
that auto measurement though is pretty sweet really because you can go by the uh, graticule, graticule here or you can go by the auto measurement that's really cool digital oscilloscopes are awesome especially if you're an idiot all right let's go ahead and change stuff around let's check out the logic analyzer Now I don't have anything to hook this up to, but we can uh, we can go into the logic analyzer uh, menu and see what that's all about. Oscilloscope plus no oscilloscope and the logic analyzer. Wow, whatever that was about. So we've got something going on. So this is channel 8. Then this one would be channel 7. I'm guessing. But. You can see the fingers here when you're trying to debug or uh, really get down and dirty and try to figure out a circuit um, for repair these little grabbers can really get in there and grab individual pins like that can you see that They grab pretty nice too. And you can get right up in there on them little small circuits. So if there's something wrong with this or you just want to debug it or reverse engineer, you can get right in there. Oh, you get what I'm saying. See what that's about. Oh crap, my phone's my camera's about to die. And this one was oscilloscope plus signal generator. So I could probably feed it back into itself and we can actually get something going on the uh, screen. PDM, w, PWM, normal signals, and you see you got square, sine, and triangle. That's pretty cool. And now I feel rushed because my camera's about to die. So this is the cable coming from the signal generator, which I'm going to connect to channel 1 on the oscilloscope the rubber on these alligator clips are so tough man I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing okay so I got the signal generator going into the oscilloscope side of the oscilloscope Okay, our start frequency is zero, our end frequency, let's say 1,000. Amplitude, all the way, offset, let's not mess with that. Scan frequency, and we are at 1,000. Basically kind of like right there. Let's see what our signal looks like. So we're, we are at a sign 
right here. Let's do square. Stop scan. Let's select square. And let's do 3000 this time. One, two, three. Scan. And our frequency is at 3000. Let's see what that looks like on. And we got a square signal. That's pretty cool. Stop scan. And let's do triangle, but let's do uh let's try five thousand. And triangle right on the money, man. That's pretty freaking sweet. Uh let's hook a speaker up to it. It should be outputting um a signal. I think. Yeah. Because we can adjust our amplitude. Right? So let's cut that down. Let's disconnect the signal generator from our probe. And connect it to my trusty little test speaker that I've had around for. Stop, please. Stop, please. Stop, please. annoying I'll tell you that okay so all right stop scan let's try um, 500 <laughs> Hertz okay scan frequency let's plug it back up uh. Okay, you can still hear it, but we're at 500 hertz. This is my take on the DDS-140 in its entirety. And I love the mo modules. You can get the DDS-140 um, on its own, but mine came with both the options. Um, you know, the logic analyzer and the, the annoying signal generator, but... Um, But yeah, and one thing I wanted to point out with these probes too is you've got the clips, but you can also pull the ends off as well, just as any other probe, I guess, and you can actually get in there and, you know, probe circuits. You know, if you wanted to, you can probe individual circuits and um, things like that as well. Alright guys, if you like this video, then um, don't forget to hit that uh, like. What's well, guys, if you dislike this video, then hit that dislike button. If you liked it, hit the like button. Uh, check out all the links in the description below, um, especially my Patreon. Uh, YouTube's not paying me a whole lot uh, at all. <laughs> um, I want to say uh, I've made a little over 300 bucks off YouTube since 2013. Um, and it's probably because of this crappy content, but... Moving on, um, I'm trying to get better. Things uh, things can only go up. Not true. Why am I talking so crazy today? I don't know why. I'm tired. I woke up at six. Um, but yeah, check out the links in the description below. And thanks for watching.